So this is the part of the microscope that the condenser fits in and it has a, you can control it with this knob, you can raise or lower it. To fit the condenser it's a good idea to move it down to the bottom of its travel because you've then got plenty of room to get the condenser in place. On the opposite side there's a small chrome thumb nut which actually clamps the condenser into place. For the moment ignore these two which are centering screws. We'll come on to those a little bit later. So just unscrew this chrome nut. Don't take it all the way out but make sure that it's not poking through the black part of the arrangement and then we're just going to slide the condenser back in and get it into place and then tighten up this thumb nut on the side so that it grips the condenser in, into place. Now I'm going to raise the mechanism up and you'll see the top of the condenser appear through the stage. Asbestos fibre counting is always against a green background so just place the filter over the light source. There's a depression in there to, to take it. So as we saw at the beginning these times 12.5 eyepieces, the top lens will focus in and out which obviously focuses or defocuses the image that you see down the microscope. Now one of these uh, eyepieces has the Wharton and Beckett graticule in and it's a good idea to make sure that one is always in the right hand eye tube of the microscope. What you need to do is to look through the eyepiece with the microscope turned on and focused on a slide and to move this top lens in or out until the Wharton and Beckett eyepiece is nicely in focus and you can see it quite clearly. Once you've achieved that you then need to focus the microscope with its main focus control so that the slide that you're looking at is in focus. When you've done that you then have to go to the other eye tube which doesn't have the Walton and Beckett graticule in and adjust the focus of that so that the image of the slide is in focus. You'll then have both eye tubes showing you a focused slide image with the right hand one showing you a Walton and Beckett graticule in focus. Asbestos fibre counting uses the times 40 phase contrast objective but we're using the times 10 with the yellow band here just as a mechanism for more easily finding the lines on this test slide. Mm -hmm.